Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Michael Novello and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you make a galvanized steel. At first let's just add a material and call it steel galvanized. Uh, I suggest you name this in this way because uh, first put the material like steel, wood or something else and then uh, the next part of the name is what it is. It's a stainless, it's a galvanized steel, it's a oak or uh, something else. Um, just for if you then choose on your materials you can you can um, choose to go to steel and then you have all the steels and then you can choose galvanized, stainless, uh, normal or something else. Okay. Then, now let's jump in into the material. Let's first let's just move this guy here and this up. I don't know why this is happening here. Okay, like this. And then just split it. And let's put this here in the render mode. I do it this small because uh, it's much faster if it's small. If you have a big one, it takes a long takes a long time to render. For me, because my computer is not very strong, um, I have to upgrade my graphic card. So, but for now, I I'm good with this here. Okay, let's just think about galvanized steel. Galvanized steel is a steel and it's galvanized. And the galvanizing process puts some big flakes on the steel. Um, it prevents the steel from rust and this is plating, so it's on the steel and it's flaky. How we do this flaky um, behavior of the steel? Okay, let's just really easy. Let's just begin with the texture and the texture with, which uh, brings us uh, some big flakes and cells or something like that is the, is the very only um, texture. Let's just put this for testing in here. Now we can see it's a cell structure but we have these uh, black dots in here. Don't want that. I go to cells. So I have uh, colorful cells here, uh, but they are too big for me. Um, just just add, uh, crank up the number to 7, that's okay. And then um, that's, that is too hard, the, the, the contrast is too hard, so uh, try, we are trying now to um, get these edges a little bit softer. For this I use a noise texture and I need a color mix RGB and I put the noise on top and let's do overlay and now you can see the, the edges are not that hard anymore but I want the noise a little bit um, f uh, it's more yeah, not, it's not so big, it's, uh, I need it a little bit sp more smaller. So I scale this up here and I crank up the details as well. As well. Okay, now we have uh, a steel, it has a nice texture on it and the edges are not so uh, hard. Okay, and because I don't want to have this color here, just put in here a converter and a converter RGB to black and white. Now it looks just fine. It's really cool. Um, but let's just um, let's just uh, imagine it's steel. It's a little bit glossy. It's not that. Um, that's diffuse. Okay, let's let's just we need a glossy. Okay, for this, let's just move this 
just here and let's just add a shader. Let's add a mix shader, put it here. And let's add a glossy. And connect these to the mix shader. Now it's glossy. But um, I think it's too much. It's more a silver with flakes. And that's not what I want. So let's just add here a color. Let's add a color. Uh, input RGB. And now we are going to add a black color to it. Okay, now it's diffuse again. And there's the trick. Let's just add a color, bright and contrast, put it in here, and just put in here a minus number. In this case I put in minus 0 0.5 and this glass again. Now I'm not really satisfied with the with the diffuse. And for this just I just go in there and I put this uh, at first I put this at the normally as well. So it gets a little bit darker and we have something like a normal map here. Slightly normal map, a really little normal map, but it's it's there and it helps. So, but it's too dark. And for this, let's just add another bright and contrast here and put it in between these guys here. And let's crank up the brightness, 0.3. And that's too much. And now let's Turn down the contrast to minus to minus one, and there we are. I think that's a really cool um, galvanized steel. Uh, in a moment, I show you the full render, and I pause the video for this. Okay, the render is now nearly finished. It's uh, rendered with uh, 500, 500 uh, samples. And I think it's really looking cool, as you can see. Um, there are the flakes of the galvanizing process, and there are there is a little bit of noise in there. The edges are not so hard, and it look don't look so fake. And it's a little bit glossy, maybe a little bit too much. We can lower the numbers of the glossy a little bit and I think it's important that you the important part to, that it's not looking fake it's the noise um, because there's in nature or in manufacturing steel or something like that there's never the same structure over a big um, surface. So even even if you try it, uh, the only, I think the only thing which is really an even thing is a crystal, like a computer chip crystal, where they um, a wafer. It's called a wafer, and this is really an amorph material. It's the same from the beginning to the end, but a galvanized steel isn't um, isn't uh, even surface. It has a little bit of noise in there, and that is that it that's it. What uh, make it makes it real and not fake. Um, maybe we can dark the, darken this a little bit, but I think that's really cool. And if you put this into your in, on a model. Uh, it's no problem how big this model is. You can scale the texture and so you have a really versatile galvanized steel material. Okay, that's it and I see you in the next tutorial. Bye!